What's up my viewers? What's up my subscribers? This is OTH at you again. So people today, for all the cricket fans, we all have to wonder and we try to figure out why Marlon Samuels did not get selected for the 2019 World Cup. That's the burning issue right now and the burning questions and people want to know. We all know Marlon Samuels as a good cricketer and he helps the West Indies team a lot for the qualifiers and stuff. So Marlon Samuels was the champion of not only the 2012 World 2020 final and the 2016 World 2020 final but also 2018 World Cup qualifiers. So people if you're not a cricket fan you're probably not going to understand everything I'm saying. While the selectors have indeed made some very good selections, the exclusion of big tickets like Karen Pollard, Senil Nairin and Devendra Bishu was the talk of the town. Besides experienced um, stalwarts like Chris Gale, Jason Older, um, Darren Bravo, Kemar Roach and Andre Russell, the team has a lot of flair with the budding players like um, Shimran, Nicholas, O'Shane, Sheldon and Sai. With the likes of promising players like Shannon Gabriel, Ashley Nurse, Fabian Allen, Carlos Brathwaite and Evan Lewis, their squad looks well set. But another big player missing from the squad and the name is Marlon Samuels, the experienced right-hander who has played in three World Cups. People I'm talking about 2003, 2007 and 2015 had a major role to play in the West Indies qualifying for the World Cup. If you remember, two-time World Cup champions qualified for the World Cup by a narrow margin of three runs. Samuel Wells, who was also the reason West Indies won two nearly impossible World 2020 finals, and I'm talking about 2012 and 2016, scored 304 runs in the qualifying tournament after West Indies failed to qualify automatically. While he played many an innings of substance, his match winning 86 in a stiff chase in a do or die match against Zimbabwe was one of the turning points of that tournament. People, I'm trying to give you some background as to how important and how influential Marlon Samuels is to the West Indies team. West Indies were held by a controversial LBW decision in their last match against Scotland just before rain arrived. Had the batsman remained not out, Scotland would have qualified, having won the match by a margin of six runs. But even in that match, Samuels' 51 runs amid a sinking West Indies top order were crucial in providing their bowlers something to fight for people. Besides their two 60 over World Cup victories back in the 70s, the West Indies have won three more ICC titles after the turn of the century. And I'm talking about 2004 Champions Trophy, 2012 World 2020 and 2016 World 2020. Even this time around, the West Indies team looks promising enough to go all the way but if you look at the big matches in those tournaments their star-studded batting lineup always failed when it mattered the most Samuels whose averages over a long career might not be as impressive as many of his counterparts save his best for two of those big matches his 78 of 56 balls in the final of the 2020 world 2020 after his team was struggling at 32 for 2 at the end of 10 overs involving hitting 5 sixes of the best opposition bowler and that was Lashit Malinga to take his team to a respectable score. He also took a wicket to seal a world title for his team after 33 years. In the 2016 World 2020 final, while the rest of the batting order was collapsing is well paced 85 not out seal yet another world title for the West Indies within four years time. Both these innings are considered among the best innings in all ICC tournament finals. You can imagine that people Marlon Samuels really helped the West Indies and we're going to continue looking at some more background information because we're really trying to find out why is it he's not on the team for the World Cup. His partnership of 372 with Chris Gale against Zimbabwe during their last World Cup is indeed the highest partnership in all ODI cricket and ODI is one day international people. The veteran with 10 ODI centuries and 89 wickets always released 
a challenge and usually performed when the chips were down. He did not appear in the best of touches after the qualifying tournament last year but was more or less certain to make the cut due to his experience over 18 years. An injury in the recent months might have also contributed to his exclusion. People is not at his best, you know, in the last part of last year. Coming up, because his innings in Bangladesh yielded only 70 runs. In fact, the World Cup qualifier tournament was like an oasis in the middle of a desert. Samuel was in excellent form in 2016, which included consistent naps out at the World 2020, the home Tri-Nation series against Australia and South Africa, and the limited overs run in the UAE. His batting saw another low during the limited overs tour of England in 2017, where he managed only 61 runs from four innings. Had the West Indies won four matches in the series, they would have automatically qualified for the World Cup, people. So basically, he's going out um, in the last part of 2017 coming up, and he's not performing up to par. But you know, sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. But his experience and his track record should have also got him qualified for the World Cup this year. The emergence of reliable options as Shai Hope and Hetmeyer and the resurrection of Darren Bravo, especially during their impressive home series against England, this season has also contributed to the edging out of Samuels. The selectors are backing the youngsters to fill in perfectly for the likes of Marlon people. So there we go again. That's another reason why he's not being selected. We have young talent and they're performing. So the selectors who selected the team are backing these young players. While the team looks to have covered most of the bases, their current middle order has not played enough to have encountered tough match situations on the big stage. So it all comes down to experience. So even though they're performing, they have not been challenged. And we know how that is. We prefer go with experience sometime over who is performing. Stability during such situation is what he should have been picked for. Think so Marlon Samuels with his experience and his expertise would be perfect for that. We just hope for the emergence of a reliable batsman of the likes of Marlon Samuels or Shai Hope rather than dashers. While the West Indies team will never find themselves short of all those dashers. So people, these are some of the main reasons why Marlon Samuel did not get selected for the 2019 World Cup. So people, we see where it's because it could be due to injury in the recent months. We see where he's not performing up to par from the last part of 2017 coming up. And they have new talents that are performing. But at the end of the day, when you go into the World Cup and he has done it over and over, it helps them to win a lot of matches. When it comes down to hard times, with the team collapsing, he's there to stabilize things due to his experience and his um, batsmanship, right? So these are some of the stuff that you really have to think about. You're going to a World Cup, you need experienced players. And they will always perform sometimes when it comes to hard times. So people, let me know what you think. Until next time, please like, share and subscribe.